promised to stop watching that telly and take me on holiday. Shut up at your mouth! I've never heard so many Viagra jokes in 30 seconds. <laughs> Shut up at your mouth! All right, a gross-out contest! Grandma Plopwell, you've done it again. <laughs> do you suffer from diabetes? No. <laughs> well, you do now. <laughs> Please, no more spark plugs. Uh. I'm hot, so very hot. Four. No one's forcing you to stay. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, you're not going anywhere, Missy. The winner is me for being seen with you freaks. Judges can't win the contest! Boom! People, stop! Stop! We're not animals! <laughs> I got runner-up prize! You won second place? No, but I got it! Stealing is wrong. We can better ourselves! <laughs> well, most of us. They printed my letter! Hey, that is wonderful, sweetie. I'm going to read it just as soon as I finish what I'm doing here. <laughs> Everything but the opinion page. I don't need to be told what to think by anyone living. Daddy says I'm this close to living in the yard. Dying Austin. Thanks, Lisa. I'll get right on it. And bring a dessert. Ooh. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is that a pie? Or a quiche. A pie. You may enter. <gasps> you want me to join Mensa? Oh, that's wonderful. You've joined such luminaries as cartoonist Mel Lazarus, Gina Davis, and Parade Magazine's Marilyn Beausavant. Rise to vote, sir. Now you know the agenda. Palindromes, anagrams, eat Lisa's pie, then voting. What's your name? Uh, Geraldo Simpson. All right, Mr. Simpson. Ah, who told you? I can't believe how they're dumbing down the Springfield Library. My family never talks about library standards. And every time I try to steer the conversation that way, they make me feel like a nerd. I just spent the day with the most wonderful people. Oh, that's great, honey. You tell me everything you can before the commercial's over. You look fantastic. Let me just adjust my lens here. Ooh. Dad! <gasps> Dad, are you home? <gasps> Okay, I think he's gone. Let's reschedule. No, no, that's impossible. We reserved it months ago. Someone should stand up to them. Mm. Oh, it's hopeless. There's some uh, she-males in Gazebo 3, a nasty-looking spider in Gazebo 6. Bear me, boys. Why do we live in a town where the smartest have no power and the stupidest run everything? When you see what's in this report, Things are going to change in this town. I earned that lot of money. I swear. What's going on? Where's the mayor? He skipped town. Really? So who's in charge? According to the charter, should the mayor abdicate, the Council of Learned Citizens may rule in his stead. Control circumcision, yuck, yuck, yuck. Ah, jeez, I'll take your word for it. I guess you are in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Known as the Break Pack has been running this town for the better part of three days. You have been chosen to join the Justice Squadron. 8 a.m. Monday at the Municipal Fortress of Vengeance. Come on, stay yellow, stay yellow! Springfield has moved up to number 299 on the list of America's 300 most livable cities. It's time to get Homer erotic. <laughs> They're running on metric time. Remember this moment, people. 80 past 2 on April 47th. For a nickel a person tax increase, we could build a theater for shadow puppets. Balinese or Thai? Why not both? Well, that's a really useful invention. Oh, oh happy this is really crazy. Crazy. People don't... Oh, me? Well, look at you. <laughs> I'm gonna maul you. It's like the set of some high-class porno film. <laughs> no, no. It's just their basement. You've got to show me exactly what you did. But I was going to score. No, you weren't. We're going to ban such barbaric sports as bullfighting and cockfighting. Yeah! Also, boxing, inspired by the most logical race in the galaxy, the Vulcans. 
Breeding will be permitted once every seven years. Where are we going to get to my broccoli juice program? Quit butting in, please. Your IQ is a mere 155, while mine is a muscular 170. Big deal. My IQ is 280. <gasps> Demon You have clearly been corrupted by power. For shame. Larry Flint is right! You guys stink! Yeah! Yeah! If you are looking for trouble, you found it. Yeah, just try me, you- Oh! Time for this pod to fly. Wrong button. Sometimes the smartest of us can be the most childish. Even you? No, not me. Your theory of a donut-shaped universe is intriguing, Homer. I may have to steal it. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> this has been a bad week even for you, Simpson. Concrete in the sandbox? I don't get lost anymore. Stop <laughs> laughing. I said penal, not penile. <laughs> Penile. It's not like you made me say penis. It looks like ancient Aramaic. Fortunately, I have an app for that. Simpson. Cool. Now I can look up all those people who said see in hell. We've got millipedes, tooth heads, screaming torsos. Ah! You're bleeding eyes with finger legs. It's true. It would be a cold day in hell when I was popular. What would be the appropriate eternal torture for someone who robbed a bank? Good. No one likes to be whipped, but is there anything more connected to the sin? Torture! Oh, can you all feel how much richer that is? You get a pumpkin sticker. Ow! Wow. Oh, that is so evil. And I know evil. I'm head of the teachers union. Hot stuff? I didn't realize you were that evil. No, I'm being punished for how lame my comics were. Mom? Dad? I want to change schools. Hmm? I found a place that really wants to teach me, and I really want to learn. Dad, it's not a private school. It's free. Oh, that's fine then. Look, as educators, our job is to gently nurture your child's passion. Hmm. You know, we have many opportunities for parent involvement. Yeah, I'll be sure to take a look at that. Children. And you know that their little lives can become such a love with your bones and your flesh. Mm. No hell is for children. A very special center we've prepared just for you. Homer? Now come on, boy. Pull me apart like string cheese. Go! Go! <laughs> Which one's yours? Nice. That was me when I was a young hoodlink with me three bestest glugs, Leonard, Carlton, and Dumb. We was nasty tested and cap off the night with little of the all in out. In, out, in. Hello, little lamb. What say we go back to my place for a little of the old Luther van? Dumb got a job at the Tower of London as a beef eater. I hope it's what I think it is. <coughs> ah! Not the shot! Not the shot! Ah! Ah! These eye clamps are the only way I can tolerate today's TV. Tonight on Fox. Come on, you can't pull the woolly bull over my vitty balls. Ah! That's a bit of the old ha ha! Those punks got no respect for them what come before. They didn't even wear no card pieces. We've got a sweet little toddle to take care of. <coughs> Let's start easy with a little walk into the J. <coughs> Wait! And just as scarifying and intimidado as ever. Hey, keep up! <laughs> Sir, are you done with my bird mask? Oh, I don't think you want to wear it now. I'll be the judge of that. I'll, uh, I'll let you finish. But I was happy. 
stupid blood asking me for a favor. The milkshakes have vanished. Hmm? What? Mm. Oh, Marge, that was fast. Yeah, that's it, baby. Grab my chest with your cold, icy hands. All right, show yourselves in the name of this book. Don't! You're Homer Simpson. Show me your driver's license. Well, I traded it to a kid for a bite of his sandwich. <gasps> he is me! I like a man who can relax. Not like Grumpy Lumpy there. Quit making cracks. By the way, nice melons. Those are in the kitchen. No! <laughs> Might as well clean this while I'm killing myself. <laughs> Don't yell at me, I'm a double widower. But I can handle all the ghosts you can float at me. What are you doing? Sayonara, sucker. Oh no, you're not leaving me to clean this up. <laughs> Willie's got stew for the winter. Wait a minute, who killed Maggie? Huh, I'm in some horrible limbo. I can walk halfway through walls and I get stuck. Uh-oh. Choose me, because I'm not bitter yet. I can stay up later, and you're on my mind all the time. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Time to cut the treacle, man. Okay, Mary, you're a big city girl who never stops to enjoy the little things in life. And today, it all pays off. How would you? like to be president of our entire Homemaker Mysteries division. A Christmas movie? Mary, this is hot, Mark. Christmas movies are our bread and butter. How can anyone hate Christmas movies? Trust me, I can. The last small town that can pass for Canada passing for America that didn't already have another one of our Christmas movies shooting in it. Christmas movie shot in the summer. Now, uh, why do you do that? Well, it's for a variety of reasons. We Chargers for your phone. We're all in this together. And by we, I mean me, bleeding this movie production dry for 500 bucks a night. Please tell me you have Wi Fi. Wi Fi do? That's news to me. <laughs> <sighs> what did she do? Look, I have no idea. I never work on Christmas movies. <gasps> what? I don't know what goes on in everything, Bagel, so I just took a stab at it. I actually don't eat bread. Do you mind if I shoot a behind-the-scenes documentary about the movie to earn my little filmmaker merit badge? An extra tall, non-fat, triple vegan espresso mocha, clean white, two pump, half barley water, half macadamia milk, with room for air. Oh, don't go. Maybe they've got some lentils you can milk. Or acorns. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Mary. But we've got more problems. One, I directed a hundred of these. They're all the same. <laughs> it's you. What do you think you're doing? I'm setting up the town's annual lettuce and tomato festival. <laughs> hmm, how about this? You build our gazebos and I'll make sure they halt production for your little festival. Okay, movie's back on schedule, under budget, and our shipment of cozy scarves was released from customs. And if I leave, I won't get the promotion? And I have an annoying way of talking on the phone? Yes, sir. All I cared about was my career. But then we had that moment at Christmas Creek and things changed. The Golden Retriever Christmas Sweater Fashion Show. <laughs> this movie production's a gold mine. Hey, how would you fellas like to sleep in my marital bed? Mm -hmm. I don't care how much it costs. Just find me some fake snow. Fake snow? More like easy dough. The gazebos look great. You're very talented. Oh, only with my hands. Yeah, I'm surrounded by a bunch of backwoods, lotto scratching, monster truck driving, big gulp guzzling bumpkins. She's sleep nerding. Ah! Tough day. Huh? Would you like?
like some tea? Huh? I'm moving into quirky best friend territory. Every Hartmark Christmas movie where everybody comes together and the jaded outsider is finally won over. I leave to pick up my iHeart bib bibs and you turn my summer festival into a, 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 a holiday set piece. Then I get my room back. We're trapped. <sighs> ah! What the hell is this fake snow made of? I have no idea. We paid some local lunatic to grind it for us. It would appear our heated verbal sparring is upping the temperature in this confined space. Well, I guess we should agree not to talk. Fine. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> sure is hot in here. Perhaps we should huddle closer. For coolness. Well, luckily the fake snow hardened, and I was able to dig my way out with this shoehorn I always carry on my person. You remembered. Who could forget it? <laughs> you took my room from me, movie lady, and now it's payback time. Yeah, I'm surrounded by a bunch of backwoods, lotto scratching, monster truck driving, big gulp guzzling bumpkins. I may drive a monster truck, but the real monster is she. Without these big gulp guzzling bumpkins as extras, we can't finish the movie. Come back, everyone. Come back. I was sent here to put out fires. There is a reason I hate Christmas movies. Ooh. He was trampled to death. You can still see his last moments on Earth in the trailer. I've come to love this place with its homespun ways, its earnest, hardworking folk. It's a miracle. <gasps> We're going to be able to finish this piece of crap after all. <laughs> and I secretly filmed you saying nice things to my mom. And I showed the whole town. I... I don't know what happened in that gazebo, but I don't care. So who's it gonna be, me or him? Why I choose you. Aww. Are you nuts? Pick him. Mm. This is twice now. Thank you.